So I tend to steer clear and I just deal with crusty, you know, raw beauty crusty. <sighs> this brush smells like peanut butter. Hey guys, raw weird bangs Christy here. I decided this morning, like I said in a video like last week, I was like, okay, if I'm gonna have bangs, I can either commit and have bangs, which you can see that I did, or I can just let them grow out because this in-between bullshit is not cutting it. And so I woke up this morning at 6.30, walked in the bathroom, washed my hair, and chopped my bangs off after watching a few YouTube tutorials. And you know what? They're not bad. They're actually kind of cute. And they're about, they're a little bit shorter than I had when I got them done by Carl, my hair guy. But here's the thing, as if any of you care about my hair, first of all, we're a minute in talking about my hair. I know that I just have to get past it because I need to say it. When I went and got my hair done by Carl, he was like, bangs are cute, bangs are great, have some bangs. And I was like, yes, sounds great. So <laughs> he said, you have a cowlick right here. So this side's gonna be a bitch for you. And I was like, oh really? And he was like, yeah, this side will always do what you want. This side is never gonna do anything that you want. And I was like, um, Carl? How dare you? He was right. And as we can see, this side is a PC, disgusting piece of shit. And this side, thick, voluminous, full. So I don't want to hear about it. Um, I like bangs. I feel cute with bangs. I feel not so cute today with this little PC moment happening. But you know what? It's just hair. Nobody cares, especially me. Except for I've been talking about it for two minutes and two seconds. So clearly I care. Today, I am gonna be doing my makeup. I'm gonna go shopping because I have a Christmas party to go to tomorrow. So I need some new clothes. I never shop. I am not a shopper, don't like it. I actually hate shopping. It's like one of my least favorite things to do. And I love shopping online, but the problem is, is that I used to do most of my online shopping from Fashion Nova and Fashion Nova is Trash and Nova. They suck and I am not a fan. So I am no longer going to ever be shopping from them. And I love their clothes. The way they fit me is really, really nice. But I wanna find like a green sweater today. So I think I'm gonna do a get ready with me slash come shopping with me. I don't know if that sounds fun to you guys. Either way, let's do it. You guys are gonna come shopping with me. You're going to get ready with me and we're just going to have a grand old day. So what I'm gonna be doing today is looking for a green sweater and a long gold necklace. Simple. Easy, right? No, because the green sweater has to be like higher neck. That's what I like. I don't like V-neck and I like it to have like a little bit of structure and not be like too like flimby. But I also want a little bit of flimbiness because if it's too tight to my body, it's just not happening. If it's too loose, also just not happening. I need it to be like this very specific shape and that's why I struggle so hard to find things that work for me. What I'm gonna do is take you guys with me. We're gonna hopefully find something today that will work and I can wear it to Christmas party tomorrow. I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender because I completely forgot and and we are gonna get to using makeup. Today I wanna use this. This is not like a review. I already know I'm gonna like the quality of the shadows, but this is me testing out this palette. Um, I'm kind of feeling the vibe of this palette right here, which is the ColourPop Disney Frozen 2 palette. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I'm really liking this shade up here, which the camera is kind of pulling it off as if it's more, Mm, like just like an average warm color, but it's like this really pretty kind of, I don't know, warm mustardy shade with maybe this one down here. I don't know. I kind of feel in this palette. I think it's really cute. So I hate the pressed glitter, but am I gonna get into glitter again? The answer is probably no. So I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender, BRB. I forgot my beauty blender because I just sat there messing with my hair for 20 minutes, God damn it. So is this hair better than what I had before? Ooh, uh, questionable questionable, but is it worse? Yeah, it might be. But you know, I need it out of my face, even though it's not out of my face at all. It's actually totally in my face. Here's the thing, I, I, I don't know what to say. So am I gonna move my bangs out of my face? No, and I know that drives some people nuts, but here's the thing. They are such a pain in my ass that I can't. I can't do it. Wow, there's a lot of eyelash glue in my eyes. In my eyes, yep. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna dip into wind up here. I have not seen Frozen 2. Have any of you guys seen it? No spoilers, please. neat color. It is a kind of warm orangey color. I was almost expecting it to be a little more yellowy, but I guess it's kind of like the color of Anna's hair. So makes sense. But so tell me, do you guys like shopping or are you like me? And it's just such a daunting task. It's the shape of my body. I've talked to you guys about this before, but the shape of my body is the appliest of apples. I've talked to you. I'm Hank Hill. So you guys know this. And 
finding clothes that fit me are, it is nearly impossible. It doesn't matter if I lose a bunch of weight, it doesn't matter if I gain it. It's so difficult no matter what, because my body shape is not the kind of body shape that clothes are generally made for. My body shape is an apple and clothes are generally made for hourglass. They're generally made for like a pear. It's really, really tough where like the booty is bigger and the legs are a little bit thicker, but then the waist is a little bit smaller. My body's the exact opposite shape. I have a bigger top half and I have a concave ass and toothpick legs. So it's so difficult to find nice fitting clothing. And a lot of people are always like, try Torrid. No, it's not It's not what it is. Cause it's not like I just need a bigger size. It's that the shape of the clothes is wrong. So it's really tough for me to find something that I like. So shopping to me becomes a task that's frustrating and daunting. So I'm not one of those gals who likes to go out and buy things literally the opposite. If I could never shop again, like fantastic. Home decor shopping, love it. Clothes shopping, loathe it. Okay, so I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go into the shade down here, which is charades. God, that word was hard for me to read. Just look how, like the font. It looks like Carade Alice. I know I haven't been doing very structured eye looks lately and I want to. I actually am really like itching to do kind of a more structured cut creasy style look, but I think I'm gonna do it in like an upcoming video idea that I have. And I think that would be the way because I think it would be really fun. So I know that mine have been kind of more of this like blown out style, but that's just what I'm feeling, baby. <laughs> Can't help what you're feeling. Okay, so I wanna go in with this shade up here, which is like this really pretty gold shade and it's earth. Uh, bitch. Hmm, I kind of like that. I was feeling more of that like goldiness today, like that really warm kind of fall-esque feel to it, you know, but it's also winter, but also who cares? Simple, easy, pretty. Just taking the center and making it a little brighter. And then I'm gonna take my brush, just sort of buff over the edges and over the top of that, just to tone it down quite a lot so that there's no like clear lines. All right, now I'm gonna go in to these lashes. Which ones do I want? These are the Nikia Joy lashes. And this was from, I think the natural set, I think is what it's called. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with like these ones down here. And a tip for anybody that doesn't know this, if you like end up taking the edge and pulling them off that way, sometimes that can make like the lashes fall off. But if you take them and you just kind of gently tug down on the lash part it like spreads out the uh, area that you're pulling it from and it won't put too much pressure on that lash band I don't know if that makes sense I'm gonna toss these on real quick and I will be RB lashes and liner are on I did take so these lashes while very beautiful and I love these from Nikia Joy I feel like the inner corner of this one is a little bit blunt and almost like you can see it like with these ones right here. I don't know if you guys can tell. See how this one is like nice and wispy, but this one is like very blunt and choppy looking in the front. You see they look like to two totally different inner corners. The other one of this eye is the same way. So I had to like take some black liner and like bring it all the way in. And even still, it just looks a little bizarre. So just ignore that and let's move on to the face. I got a pimple in the corner of my mouth and I picked it. And now every time I open my mouth, it re-breaks back open and damn, that shit hurts. I'm gonna go, a little bit lighter on the foundation today. So I'm using a beauty blender with my Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie Foundation. And yes, this color is a bit dark for me, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it. Really matches me really good in the summertime, but right now, bitch, <laughs> she's pale. I really hope I can find a green sweatshirt that I'm looking for. I struggle the, oh my God, it's just, man. I wish my boobs were half the size that they are. And I wish that my body was a different shape than it is. It would just be so much easier. But you know, you deal with the cards that you were dealt and you just don't complain about it. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. And if I actually cared, I would do something about it. But I don't. I just like to complain about it on the internet. <laughs> I had a commenter in one of my recent videos cause I complained about having butthole lips and they were like, if you don't want butthole lips, why don't you just moisturize your lips? Nasty. First of all, don't tell me what you do. <laughs> because you're not my real dad. Second, I have a condition that is called four dye spots on my lips. They're like these little white bumps and you can see it right here. They are so, so, so bad. And they are exacerbated a billion times over by moisturized lips, which is super frustrating because that means that at all times I must have the driest crusty butthole lips. But if I use lip balm, I kid you not, 
it's like unbelievable how much more I get. I get like three or four times the amount of four dice spots on my lips than I normally have and I can feel them. So some people might be like, oh, who cares? Just cover them up by lipstick. No, dude, I can feel them. They feel like little bumps and I want to bite them. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's like little white, uh, all that. And so they're super irritating. And if I use lip balm, oh my God, it's, it's not good. So I tend to steer clear and I just deal with crusty, you know, raw beauty crusty. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder and powder my forehead since I do have these bangs right this minute. I definitely don't want my forehead getting any greasier and making these bangs look stringier than they already do. I'm gonna powder with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, these ones up here. I'm just gonna use those since they, I, they're kind of luminous. They'll like set the area down, but they won't make my forehead look like dry. Um, hello? All right, now I'm gonna go into a different bronzer than I've been using. This is Inda Sun by Fenty, and I've used the crap out of this, but I haven't used it in a while. So this one is a little more contoury than I feel like it is bronzy, and it does work though. Like if you have more of a fair skin tone, I feel like this might be the one for you. It's a really, really pretty bronzer. <sighs> this brush smells like peanut butter. Why? It literally smells like Skippy. Extra chunky. In a smoothie. With protein powder. I do love a good peanut butter smoothie. They are so good. Just literally bronzing my bangs. You know, at this point, I don't wanna ever hear about pinning them back again. I know it's irritating. I know, but you know what? I don't know what to tell you. I'm liking the way that that bronzer's looking. Very light, very sort of natural, not overkill. All right. That's all right. Take a little bit of blush, just, just a little bit of rosiness. I'm gonna blush my nose a little. Had this sitting on my desk, it's the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. I'll try this sucker again, it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh shit, I put on a little too much. Yes I did, yes I did. Oh, but this is so pretty. I'm gonna look into the lip colors that came in this ColourPop kit. The Anna one. Going North and Free Spirit. Let us see, this is the packaging, really pretty. Oh, ooh, mm. Bitch. <laughs> Let's see what this, is this a gloss? Ultra glossy lip. These crusty ass lip, bruh. Those lip colors are pretty. I don't know that I like live for them with this. Well, I kind of like them actually. Let me look. No, that's cute. What I do realize right now is that I totally forgot to do my lower lash line. I was wondering why things look a little unfinished. Let me go back in with wind. My lash line looks messed up. These lashes were a little wonky. You know, sometimes makeup just is a struggle day. Today is that struggle day. I'm just going shopping. As long as I have some makeup on. Okay, so. I run into anybody that I know. Is that? Oh, I don't have brows on. This has happened to me every time that I've done my makeup for the last week. I forget my brows. I, I don't know how I'm doing this, but it's become a thing where I'm leaving the house and I'm like, what's different? I don't have eyebrows on. And you know what those are? Fine enough for me. Let's. Go shopping. Okay, we're here. Let's see what we can find. Okay, I'm at Macy's and I grabbed a whole bunch of green sweaters, so let's see how they look. I like the neck on this one. It's too loose. This one's kind of cute. It's a little 
small. I could go one size up, but they didn't have one. But you know. I think I'll set this one aside. I think I like it. It's kind of cute. Okay, this isn't for the holiday party tomorrow. This is just for life, but what a hoodie. That's so cozy. American Eagle kills it. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Size large. I could probably go size down, but I have a feeling that this is probably going to uh, shrink a bit in the wash, and it is <laughs> the best. Okay, and then this is a size small from American Eagle, but I feel like with another longer necklace on top of this, with my hair and makeup all done cute, a pair of jeans and maybe like a small pair of heels or something, that's kind of cute. So. I think I'm gonna get this one as well. Christy? Yes. Are you still doing okay in there? Yes, thank you. Because I'm five feet tall and an apple, it's so hard for me to find jeans that fit. And look, these are so cute. And these are short, so they aren't too long. All right, done shopping. That actually went shockingly well i found three green sweatshirts green's just like my favorite color right now so i just can't get enough i got another one with little gold beads on it i don't know if i'm in love with that one it's just a little too much for me it's just like got little gold beads on it but to me it's like so gaudy i got this sweater these jeans this hoodie this green sweater and then i got these little necklaces and that's it so thank you guys so much for shopping with me it was kind of fun to bring the camera along so i'm just not really a dressy lady anymore like i used to like spend so much time caring about what i wore but the more i go to events and the more i do things outside of the house and i stress about what i was going to wear the more i realize that nobody actually cares what you're wearing it's really weird. I don't dress anymore because it's the last thing on my worry list. Thank you guys for shopping with me. It was nice to bring you along and it was also awkward. That's why I talk so quiet in the dressing room because I feel so awkward. I'm awkward, it's hard. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had fun in this video and that you kind of liked hanging out with me and doing my makeup and going shopping with me. I know that I had fun and I hope you guys did too. I hope it was kind of fun seeing me get out of the house, trying to change things up a bit and kind of change up the locations and not do the same thing all the time. And give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, let me know. Also your comments will let me know. Unless they say that this sucks, then that will also let me know, but it will also crush my heart and soul. So whatever you want to do. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. These bangs could fuck off, would be awesome. Absolutely stop, whatever you're doing. Oh, I just dug right into it, cool. Hello? Okay, the sound is on, thank God. What the fuck, where does it? I dropped him. <laughs> Love a good peanut butter smoothie. Pa peanut butter? Oh, fuck. I was wondering why things just look a little like unfinished. I'll just spit. And that's it, so. I am gonna go shopping and I am gonna take you shopping and there's no question about it and that's why, you know what?